Okay, so here let us continue um, the black uh, type angles. Um, this one we simply want to uh, show is we want to uh, take these relations and uh, that one. So if we are taking the polar uh, coordinate systems and this is the ER and this is the E theta. So we uh, take the local the local uh, polar coordinate systems along with the object. The object is here. And the ER, the VR is the uh, projection of the velocity in radial direction and vice versa. This is in theta direction. So we want to show an E uh, sine nu and 1 plus E cosine. So this is the information we want to take it. And so here, let me do this one quickly. So V, we project into the these, um, the local corner systems here and V theta. So here we have two components and here we give the V theta first and V equal to cosine V. So we're projecting out of the theta directions. And this one is uh, also equal to H over R. Because the here already we have is the magnitude of the magnitude of the um, the angular momentum equal to r times v times cosine of v. So we simply use this uh, information to back here, and v r really involved. V r equal to um, the change over time in the radial direction. So that is dr dt. So here we can use our equations of the office, and that is uh, here uh, r equal to h squared divided by mu, and that is 1 plus e cosine mu. Okay, so here I simply introduce the open equation for r, and we plug in here. And we do the little bit of rearrangement, and uh, we can quickly have this result, and that is minus e and minus mu and sine plus e cosine. Okay, so here we want to simplify the whole thing. I'm going to use a little bit more information. Again, we use the angular momentum equal to r times square times mu dot. Okay, so that is another expression for angular momentum. So therefore, here the, uh, the mu dot can be described by h divided by r square. So here, therefore, the vr, we describe this information back here, then that can be equal to, after we, um, okay, One more time, and here uh, I use the equation of the O base. Again, so here we use this equation h squared divided by mu, 1 plus e cosine mu. So in this expression, we plug in r's equal to that in, uh, information, we plug in everything. So that will get a very uh, clean information, e sine. So therefore, we plug in the information and we get a black one. So therefore, 
uh, with the V R V theta being expressed in this way, then we can get his tangent theta equal to this one. Okay. Um, from here, you can see already we are not many lectures into the uh, chapter one, but um, probably you will have the first feeling is quite a bit uh, numbers of the quite a bit number of the uh, equations. Right. So uh, in terms of the doing the homework and uh, what I did uh, is this: I have um, either textbooks with me or my lecture notes with me. When I develop certain kind of problems, <coughs> I look at my data, I look at my equ equation sheets. I have my uh, cheat sheets. And I simply look into whatever the equations I want and then plug in. And for calculating a single term, it might have a couple ways. For example, h equal to this one or h equal to this one. That's one example here. And the second one is uh, they will have a quite a bit um, constant. Um, for example, last Friday, and a few people bombarded me with emails uh, with a few things. The, the first good news is uh, there's a two people in our class has uh, been certified. Okay, so basically they finished their project with the ten points. Um, Probably on our blackboard, we have uh, discussions. Let me look into the discussion whether I activate it or not. But I try, probably you can try is any people you have any question, you can initiate a question, post it on um, discussion, and maybe people can share and put a stream of the discussions there to share. I, I think you, uh, the, for the two students, they put a lot of the effort. Um, I will ask you privately and how many hours you invested and come back to mine, but I know my learning is very slow, okay? So that's the number one good news. And the first one, the second one is um, about the homework questions in the uh, question one um, online. And there's a little discrepancies and, and eventually I modify my answers, hopefully that won't uh, uh, impact many of you because I look at not many has started the homework one. But uh, the scenes is here. Let me show you. The <coughs> issues uh, posting on the homework and causing um, the, uh, the student to student couldn't match to my answer is my fault. And where is my fault? And that is this. One uh, nautical mile uh, in my lecture note, I give to you is 1.85 kilometer. Okay, and I use this number to prepare the answers, and that is used to grade your submissions. However, this approximate. The exact should be a 5.2 just due to these two meters, and that caused a little bit of discrepancies, and then, uh, okay, so I use this number, and I modify uh, other things, make that uh, have include more significant numbers there. So eventually, they have uh, less than 1% of the, uh, the differences in the uh, beta solution. So I adopt the, the more accurate uh, approximations. So kind of give a, a hint. So that means that kind of gives me the feeling um, um, is uh, when doing the exam, I think I will, to unify our calculation, I think I will provide you the uh, constant whenever it's available. I will provide the constant, which constant you should use in your calculation. In this way, we won't have any confusions about the things, okay? And also in a, uh, our textbook, Appendix A, and Appendix A, they have a quite a few uh, the numbers and constants. So uh, otherwise, how, for say how many significant digits I need, otherwise you can uh, refer to that page, the Appendix A, for very detailed calculation if you wish. Okay. So that is my, my feelings about these things. Uh, the, the more note is on the fly pass angle is here. So, say if we take um, 
the electric So this is the electric orbit, and uh, this is uh, the connections of the, the focus. And say this is the major focus, and say that's the center of the Earth, okay? So here I want to show you is this. So you can see, uh, say this is our reference point, and that means that is perigee, P-E-R-I. So that is the uh, starting the, the reference point from where uh, we measure the true anomaly. So say the object is here. Okay, I want to show you the black the, the black path angle. So for this case, you can see we can quickly do that one. So my drawing is not so accurate, but. So this is the local horizon. Phi is positive, and to this point, so this is the local uh, horizon, and this is the, so again, this one, uh, the phi is positive. Okay, so again, my drawing of the electric orbit in this shape is not so accurate. But here, if the uh, the object is circulating the uh, major focus in this sense, then the upper the flight path angle should be equal to zero, and when uh, the object. Uh, moving in counterclockwise directions and um, from perigee to apogee. AP. I think I have the misspelling. This should be APO, not APA. I think the first time I used APA, sorry. Okay, and again, once the passing the uh, apogee is once going back to perigee. So in the second half of the orbit, the P corresponding should be negative. Okay, you can double check with this one. So that is another note I'm gonna give to you. <coughs> and how to define uh, the positive 